Hi guys, uh, Justin Valero here from Valero Tech and we're going to show you today how to connect your PS4 to Steam Big Picture Mode. Okay, so here's the uh, PS4 controller. Just got it recently from a retailer who gave it out early. Very nice controller so far. And uh, you're going to need a, a micro USB cable, preferably something relatively long. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and plug in the USB cable into the PlayStation 4. Let's see if I can do this one hand. Okay, so your PlayStation controller is plugged in micro USB and plugged in to our well I'm using a Mac but it'll the same method will work with a PC so what we're gonna do is we're going to open up Steam okay once we're in Steam we're gonna go straight into big picture mode so we're going to go to library, or we're going to go up to settings, and we're going to go to controller, and then what you'll do is, I had already inserted a controller and had done the settings, but what you're going to do is you go to edit controls, and then you just go on and select each button. So button one, and you correspond that with X. Button two, you press circle. Button three, you press triangle. Button four, you press square. Um, then you wanna go ahead and have your start. So you just put the start as the option button. Then for the guide, I use the PlayStation button um, if you want, you can use the click of the trackpad. Um, that works as well. Uh, for the back button, you use the share button. And for the left stick click, just go ahead and click in on the left stick. And then for the right stick click, go ahead and click on the right stick and then the left shoulder button, L1, right shoulder, R1, then D-pad up, that's pretty simple, I think get that left down right uh, make sure that you're good on hitting the horizontal axis on the left stick and then the vertical axis and then you do the same thing on the right stick horizontal and then vertical and then left trigger it pretty much just acts as a trigger there's no analog so so if it left trigger there we go see button six right trigger Seven. And then after that, uh, you'll go ahead and hit right trigger button seven, and then hit save. And then you can save it as you know Dual Shock Four or anything like that. And that's what I saved it as. So you get wireless controller. And so now, if we look at it, so if we look at our PlayStation controller, we'll go ahead and hit back circle, and it works just like any other controller. And we are using the PlayStation 4 controller to move around. And then if I want to walk around, I can use, you know, go to Google, go to Trip, um, use the web, and then you can use it like any other. Now, some of the games that I've noticed work. Duke Nukem Forever does not work. Any game that needs um, Xbox Live drivers, or I mean Xbox 360 controller drivers, will not work. So Duke Nukem Forever doesn't work. Um, but Half-Life works, Fez works, Mark of the Ninja kind of works, so there's a little finagling with that, um, sort of, kind of, Counter-Strike works, any of the Valve games work, um, but other things that I've yet to try, like Max Payne and whatnot, I need to be on a Windows machine to go ahead and do that. But your mileage may vary, but it works very well with big picture mode in and of itself. You can go to the store, you can... Um, walk around so now the only thing you have to notice is that you'll have to contend with them the big picture mode 
seeing the Xbox controls, coordinating with Xbox controls, rather than L1, R1, and the rest of the triggers. And you have to keep it in wired. There's no Bluetooth um, drivers for it yet, but the sticks work. Everything works. Um, so that's it, yeah, so go ahead, enjoy, your mileage may vary. Um, this is Justin Valera from Valera Tech, and enjoy.